Welcome, Cancer, to your love reading for December 30th to the 31st of 2018. All right, so let's do a cult of cross spread. All right, um, so that could be the real big one. We're gonna do the, um, I think it will be like seven cards or so. So let's see, for Cancer, for December 30th and 31st. So the theme for you, for in love. So there is um, a stoppage in communication for some, all right? Plans to move forward. You might be shutting someone down. You might not be really expressing yourself right now. You might feel like you really just don't want to say too much. Um, things are not moving forward, so it's where you might get very frustrated. Try not to allow that to kind of... Um, sometimes it can be a blessing in disguise when things are working out in that way. Because whoever it is that you might be um, pulling yourself away from, um, it might be the best thing right now. Because even talking to them or getting close to one another could cause a lot of friction. So feel like someone you might be uh, either blocking somebody shutting them down and just not really communicating so what's crossing uh, for cancer so the seven of wands and that's potentially i feel that's the way that you uh defend yourself in some way when someone is um either doing these things or you feel like you have to be forced to kind of shut someone down because they, they've either been doing that disrespectful um if you feel like there's been too much communication and you need a little break, uh, something like that, um, I feel like you got to be aware about um, how you feel being able to do it. Some of you might be afraid to stand up for yourself in some way, so you go into um, seclusion and you might step away. But if you feel like you need to do that, that's fine. Um, I feel like that's um, like the way that you might cope with that particular person, all right? Because um, even if you do stand up for yourself, um, they might not listen to you. So it's like, what's the use, all right? So let's see the base of the map for cancer. So you're stepping away, all right? You're moving on from somebody, and I feel that's the um, the energy where you shut down energetically. You're kind of uh, disassociating with that person, and then you're emotionally kind of withdrawn from them. So uh, moving on some and maybe that's the best way that you can kind of do it because you might know that this uh, relationship or connection is not the healthiest right now so you're saying hey I won't talk to you I won't be around you I might just need to move on maybe moving on um, spiritually and emotionally a bit all right so recent past for cancer your love. so there may have been a lot of a uh, conflict and Gemini had this as well and um, maybe sometimes they are intense arguments like really intense arguments but not to the extreme extreme sometimes it can be a bit violent um if they are physical because the wands are physical energy you have three wand cards here so it could be with the fire sign for some doesn't have to be um sometimes it may have been feeling really passionate about something about something that you've done about something that they've done what's not been working out and uh, maybe the blame game or whatever it might be so i feel like um sometimes if you were in a confrontation with somebody now the next two days it's like i have to shut you down we i can't talk it's probably best for us to disconnect so that we don't get into these extremes again so um what's on your mind next two days for cancer well stress again five of one um, sword so uh, communication might be there so what i sense is um a lot of background noise all right um, you expressing yourself to other people you might not be talking to this person directly to their face you probably would if you could or if you wanted to but I feel like they're um, even if you do shut someone down they could be on your know, social media it doesn't mean that you need to go watch it or see what they're saying um, uh, just be careful that you're not on the back end of kind of doing these things and putting the stress out into the world you know telling everybody your business um, that can cause more obstacles with things moving better in your love life than you think so um, just be aware of that now it doesn't mean that you're not going to feel how you feel and want to express and vent how you want to um, there are other ways to channel that kind of energy though but i feel like there's a lot of um maybe gossip and things going on with other people so the so that means and it's not only do you um will you express these things it's like you might want to say these things you might have a lot of things you're cussing somebody out in your head and you um could keep them keep it to yourself um or you could lash out at that person it just depends on it. but you really might not be able to if they block you all right um so the um person come towards you for cancer so this per this is a um this weekend is a really 
intense when it comes to a desire like physical desire so the knight of wands is coming through so a fire sign is showing up and it seems like you just be careful that someone you um, that you're dealing with that they don't get a kick out of you getting angry and then getting frustrated and then you go go with them to go have makeup sex or you go get closer to them in some way and then you this happens again and again and again so whatever it might be um, I feel like yeah they want to get close to you they want to do things with you maybe travel come see you but it doesn't seem like they are committing and staying you know come as they go do it do as they please and you might um, try to please them and you continue to do these things and you might not like that so much so be careful with that so uh, what might your response be for cancer so six of wands and I feel like these are energies of a detachment where there are other people um, coming towards you other people want to be around you other admirers different romantic partners for some um, for some of you this is um, important because you it might not be it might not be that other person this could be you um, this is doing this for some so you would know what side of the equation that you might be on but I feel if this is you this means that you have a lot of admirers a lot of people that wants to be closer to you but you might not feel like you want to um, be with a particular person right now because of what they've done or the fact that you have other people that you want to get closer to so settling down might not be in the and that's why some of you may have blocked a certain person because it's like oh, well um, I have other options right now and I don't really feel like feel like being bothered with you um so keep that in mind um, especially if you've been done wrong by somebody if you're on that side um but i feel like a lot of people might want to be around you some good things might be going on um you're at parties you're having a good time on um, the next two days or so and um even if it's just work um, a lot of success and a lot of um congrats or whatever you might be doing all right so um let's see well we've already done this we don't need let's see the Knight of Wands, let's see, for person coming towards you, Knight of Wands. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles, so it could be two different people. Um, one coming in, and another person who might be detaching, and they might be a bit more stable because they might um, float away and do their own thing, and they might constantly, this person might tell you, hey, um, we're going to make plans, we're going to do different things, but they never get around to doing it pretty much so you got an earth sign showing up and maybe this person comes in and then they go out to work they go somewhere they might drive somewhere i don't know what they might do for work um, for some but two different people that you might be dealing with fire sign then you have earth sign that you might be around and both of them might want to connect to you in some way and some of you might be trying to make a choice um it just depends there okay so um let's see messages for cancer and love for december 30th the 31st 2018 finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now um even when someone has to disconnect from you you as well i feel like uh, you'll be much better and i said that to gemini as well they had the energy of focusing on a uh, career um hard work dedication to see energy for cancer Cemetery. Oh, I have <laughs> how three cards flipped out. Okay, so we have honeymoon. It says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Opportunities to be around a significant other or a loved one, getting closer to them, but there might be some friction here. So be aware that you um just uh just know being around somebody at this time might be very intense. It might not be the best. I believe I don't know if the moon. Let's see, will the moon be in um, Scorpio? Moon being a Scorpio, Proto Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Leo Scorpio. It might be your fifth house. I think it be yeah, your fifth house of love relationships. So it might be really intense. All right, if I got that correct. Um, but there's a lot of different activities that might be going on. So that's why I feel like with that Six of Wands, others are kind of seeking you out. Um, even children kind of popping up um, having a good time doing different things but the the ego might get in the way because you just don't want to be bothered with anything that might be um, artificial you know things that are not really real and um, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others is the other one that popped out as well and that's having a good time and um, love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and that's where you're not tolerating someone that might want to step in dabble 
and you know hit it off somewhere um, else with somebody else you know so um just be aware of that um that's going to be your reading for the next uh, two days tons of love lots of light to you um i wish you the best and you can always go to psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you so have a good one